Hi there, everybody. Welcome to your first lesson on persuasive writing. So before we can actually write persuasive, we have to wrap our heads around what is persuasive writing. And you might also hear someone say opinion writing. What is persuasive writing? Well, I'm not just going to come out and tell you today. I'm going to go ahead and read this piece that I have here on the screen called Stop This Horrendous Crime. And you're going to listen and think. What is persuasive writing? How is the author writing this and what is it sharing with me as a reader? And then you're going to have an assignment today on Class Kick to tell me what you know about persuasive writing after reading this and watching a small film. So remember, follow along with me at home and reading is thinking. So be thinking about what this piece is sharing with us. Here we go. Stop this horrendous crime. Do you believe that animal testing should be performed? Only a fool would think that animals should be tested on. Animals will be injured during the testing process. They shouldn't be treated like guinea pigs. And the results will always be different on humans than animals. These tests are not even accurate because animals and humans are completely different. Firstly, the results of tests on animals will always be different than humans. All the scientists that do tests on animals should know that the results will not be the same as with humans. It is crazy to think that just because they got, get good results on animals, that they can put their products on sale. How do they know that humans won't have a reaction to the product? Think about this. Do you honestly believe that these poor, defenseless animals don't get hurt by these tests? Well, if you do, you're wrong. Animals go through being poked and prodded by needles and getting poison put into their bodies. How would you feel if you were locked up in a cage and lathered in weird lotions and potions all day, every day? Thirdly and finally, animals, right here, animals should not be treated like test subjects. How would you like it if you were being experimented on like your feelings meant nothing? You would most likely feel completely miserable and depressed. This isn't a fair life for anyone, humans or animals. In conclusion, this is why everyone should believe that animal testing should not be performed. The results on animals will be different from the results on humans. The animals will certainly feel pain throughout these tests, and they are locked in little cages only to be treated like mindless test subjects. So join me in this fight to release these poor, helpless animals. And that's the end of this persuasive piece called Stop This Horrendous Crime. So what did the author do? Well, in this piece, the author took a side and their side was not to keep animal testing. They want to ban animal testing and get rid of it. They gave an introduction stating that with their three reasons. And then they gave a first reason with support a second reason with support, and a third reason with support. And then they concluded by restating their reasons. I love how the author used transition words through their middle piece. All things to notice about persuasive writing. What did you notice about persuasive writing? How many paragraphs was this piece? and I'll shrink it down so you can see it all together because this might be something you might write about what you know about persuasive writing. How many reasons did they use to back up? Did they use support to back up their reasons? Hmm. Did the author use complete sentences and transitional words and phrases? Did they use some good vocabulary terms? <gasps> Did they start off with a hook for their introduction? 
and a wrap up for their conclusion. So today after you leave this video, you're gonna watch a second video on persuasive writing. It's an introduction to persuasive writing. I want you to think about what you saw here today and heard about this persuasive piece. And then I want you to watch the video about persuasive writing. And then you're gonna complete your assignment on Class Kick and tell me at least eight things that you know about persuasive writing. You can talk about how it's written, what the writer does in persuasive writing. This is definitely not a fantasy story or a historical fiction story. It's where someone chooses a topic, they pick a side and they try to persuade someone to believe what they think by using reasons and facts to back it up. Remember some of those things when you fill out your eight things you know about persuasive writing on your assignment on Class Kick. I'm so excited to get started in this unit today and immerse ourselves into persuasive. Maybe even today, think about some good topics you could use to write about for a persuasive piece. But soon enough, we're going to get started in the writing process. All right, after you stop watching me, head to your next video and then your class kick assignment.